Have you ever wondered if there will ever be a Bitcoin exchange traded fund in the United States? Well, according to a recent CNBC report, Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the country, uh, seems to be quite confident about it. Um, uh, Paul Verwall, Coinbase's chief legal officer, believes that the recent court setback faced by the Securities and Exchange Commission in the case of Grayscale's proposed Bitcoin ETF has opened the door for potential approval in the near future. This setback has given hope to Coinbase and other players in the industry that their ETF applications will have approved. Uh, Gruwal emphasized that Coinbase is hopeful about the approval of ETF applications uh, because they comply with existing laws governing financial services. Uh, he also mentioned that several prominent financial institutions have uh, submitted robust proposals uh, indicating uh, progress in the regulatory landscape. Uh, uh, the recent uh, court ruling against the SEC stated that the regulator lacked a valid basis to deny Grayscale's request to convert its GBTC Bitcoin fund into an ETF. The SEC chose not to appeal the ruling within the specified deadline, further increasing the likelihood of a BTC-related ETF gaining approval shortly. Uh, however, Garol made it clear that the final decision rests with the SEC and he refrained from providing uh, a specific timeline for the approval process. Nevertheless, he expressed confidence in the SEC's obligation to fulfill its responsibilities, especially in light of the court's decision and the requirement to apply the law impartially. Uh, the introduction of a Bitcoin ETF would be a game changer for investors as it would offer them an alternative means to gain exposure to BTC without directly purchasing the cryptocurrency from an exchange. This could be particularly attractive to retail investors who are seeking Bitcoin exposure without the complexities of owning the underlying asset. And Coinbase being the largest crypto exchange in the United States stands to benefit greatly from the potential approval of the BTC ETF. The company's common stock is held in portfolios designed to provide investors with crypto exposure. Uh, while the recent court ruling has boosted prospects for a BTC ETF, it's important to note that Grayscale's bid to convert GBTC into an ETF is not without its challenges. Grayscale's parent company, Digital Currency Group, along with crypto exchange Gemini and DCG subsidiary Genesis, is facing a lawsuit from the New York Attorney General accusing them of defrauding investors with over $1 billion. Um, despite these legal issues, Graywall remains positive about the approval of additional Bitcoin ETFs in the future as long as the SEC adheres to the law and evaluates pending services applications neutrally. The report also mentioned the recent performance of BTC, which has experienced a resurgence in 2023 with a 72% year-to-date increase Bitcoin has rebounded from significant declines in 2022. Factors such as anticipation surrounding the upcoming BTC halving event and investor reactions to potential interest rate policy changes by the Federal Reserve have contributed to increased demand for Hispanic changing the digital currency. Although trading volumes have declined recently, Grawal expressed optimism that various developments, including criminal trials and rigorous regulatory actions, will restore investor and consumer interest in the crypto market. As the landscape for Bitcoin ETFs continues to evolve, market participants will closely monitor the SEC's stance and any potential regulatory developments that shape the future of cryptocurrency investment and products. And now, for a short joke about Bitcoin, why did the Bitcoin go to therapy? Because it had too many issues. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.